Sometimes you just gotta tell these niggas like it is, man. What up, what up? We here with Nice the Future. What's up, man? What's up, man? You know what it is, man. The kid, man. The most infamous one, man. Future in the streets. Out now, man. Y'all go check that out, man. Classic. You know what it is. You know what I mean? Yo, H, what's up? Yeah, I'm out here. You ready? All right, my nigga. Let's get this one again. All right, bet. Let's do it. Uh-huh. Sometimes you just gotta tell these niggas like it is, man. How did that come about, man? Um, well, pretty much, um, well, you know, I'm always, I'm part of the infamous family. We've been, um, you know, working together for years. Yeah. Um, we was, uh, pretty much on our way doing the, uh, infamous G-Unit album, mm -hmm. um, a few years back, and, um, you know, circumstances, you know, business side of things, the, uh, it didn't happen. So, um, I always would tell H, like, you know, we need to do something, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I realized the pattern that started with artists doing a complete album with famous producers, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I always thought that H was like, the most underrated producer ever lived. Nice. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he did classics for, you know, from Biggie to Diddy to 50 to Faith Evans to Keisha Cole to, I mean, the yeah. list goes on and on. You know what I'm legendary, saying? Legendary, yo. Yeah, he's, he's legendary with it. And um, so I said, let's do it. But you know, in, in that time, time frame, I was still learning the business as well. Cause mm. you know, I started off just rapping just getting on tracks it, they kind of just like kind of threw me in the fire mm -hmm. with the whole G unit movement and the whole situation so I was learning the business at the same time and H would always be like yeah 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 we gonna do it and then finally last year he called me and was like yo it's time mm. so I was like yo it's time for what like you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like yo it's time to do this my nigga like let's go you know what I mean he like yo come to the studio now Let's get busy. And I was like, I right, say no more. I'm there. Wow. And then I just shot there, um, recorded the first song on, on, on off the EP, which was uh, Savage. That was actually the first record I did with H nice. on the project. And then it came out so good. He was like, yo, I love the energy. Let's keep the energy going. You know what I mean? Nice. And then we here now. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and uh, how was it working with him? Like, 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 how did you feel as soon as you got that phone call? Oh, I feel, I felt mad, I felt great because I knew it was time again. It was time to be back in that limelight again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, I went away for a little while. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of died down, things kind of died down and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I knew once that time came again, I'm like, all right. It's time to go in now with the mental that I got now. Mm. It, oh, it's on now. And the you know knowledge. Say? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 a lot of business knowledge I got now. Exactly. It's super on now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? Any uh, good memories with uh with Prodigy and Havoc and stuff like that? Oh, I mean, He was always around. Yeah, I mean, it's tons of them, man. It's tons of them. Um, shit. I mean, Any we Any good advice? Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, P always used to tell me like, "Yo, give them uh, quality, not quantity," mm. because he knows I can record a lot. You know what I'm saying? He knows I'm like a I'm like a lab rat. I'll just be in the studio all day if I could. You know what I mean? All day, all night, mm -hmm. just recording. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just just eating up beats, just going, 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 and he'll be like, "Yo." You know, that's why he named me the future. It, mm. P's the one who really put that name to oh, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody just used to call me nice because I was nice in the hood yeah. and rapping. And um, P was the one like, yo, you the future of this, you know, with uh, 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 the mob. But you got to like, you know, don't oversaturate the situation. You know mm. what I'm saying? Well, you know, back then. It was a different kind of trend. It was a different yeah, time. It so was. You had to have quality, not quantity back then. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Now with the way how things is going, you have to, you know, you have to saturate the market because there's so many rappers now. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. 
it's a knowledge of both. I got I got the the, the luxury of knowing of both. both back then mm -hmm. and now. So yeah, because the DVD know, game yeah, and then the streaming yeah, game yeah, now. Yeah, everything What's changed. The, yeah, so yeah, explain that to the people too as as well. Um, DVD game was really good back then because it allowed people to be more in tune with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they would have to go get it and able to see you. You know what I'm saying? Now, with like the streaming, all you gotta do is pick up your phone and boom, you're right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, everybody is like, and then it's so many rappers now. It wasn't as much rappers as it was back then now. Yeah. Because back then, the competition was really serious. You know, mm -hmm. People are talented now, but yeah. it's not, it's not, comp, it's no competition right mm -hmm. now. It's just, everybody's just pretty much doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I grew up in the same neighborhood as, as, as Fifth Banks and Yale. Mm -hmm. And um, I used to be, you know, rapping with them all the time. And pretty much Yale came to me one day and was like, yo, we're about to do this, this music about to do this music and I was like man I'm not with that I'm in the streets with it mm -hmm. like I, 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 we just do this for fun pretty mm -hmm. much and um, they really did it so I was like oh this this shit is for real like this can really happen mm -hmm. so I started recording records and pretty much um, you know uh, my cousin had a barbershop he was playing my, my music in the barbershop mm -hmm. every day and Havoc best friend came in there he was like, oh, snap, who's that? He was like, yo, that's my cousin. He was like, yo, bring him to the mob studio. Boom, met up with the mob, long story short, it was crazy. Wow. I got the call, came through, Havoc was there. It was love, it was time to go. And um, they had just dropped the uh, America's Nightmare Project. Mm -hmm. And um, they pretty much, after that project, they didn't like how Jive was moving with their with, with their careers so they decided to part ways with job like job didn't drop them they mm -hmm. they left job and okay. um they became free agents now when they became free agents it was like eight companies gunning for them which was uh puff was one of them kanye west was another dr dre m jimmy Iovine, mm. um See? 50 um, who else was there? Universal, Warner Brothers, and Atlantic. Those were the guys that were gunning for the mob. Uh -huh. Heavy. Like, uh -huh. we used to get calls every single day. Like, if it wasn't from Fifth, it was from M. If it wasn't from M, it was from Jimmy IV, Dr. Dre, you know what I'm saying? And um, I never forgot, one night we, we came from a show in D.C. And, um, P had got off the phone with Fifth, with Fifth and uh, I think it was Fifth, M and Dre mm -hmm. was on the phone, and they were all bidding on the mob. That's and um, when he hung up, he was like, "Yo, this is crazy, son." It was wild because the next week we were supposed to go on a boat ride with Kanye West because mm -hmm. Kanye was trying to uh, sign the mob. Wow. So we like, "Damn, this is crazy, son." And he, P's like, "Yo." Fifth, I'm, I, I just got off the phone with Fifth and them blah, 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 Fifth trying to sign niggas. And I jumped in the middle of the convo like, yo, <laughs> go with Fifth. I'm like, go with him. Get out So P like, well, why you say that? I'm like, yo, because listen, I grew up around Fifth and Ooh. I know that's his favorite group. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to do what he got to do for y'all. He's going to put y'all out right away. He's not gonna waste time with y'all, and he's a hustler. He been a hustler, you know what I mean? From since even before music. So I'm like, this is perfect right here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And he was like, wow, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna think about it. And then a couple days later, flew to Canada, signed the deal right there, and it was on. Yeah, that's you know what what's saying? up. And it was that's on. crazy. It was, it was that G and this shit. And that it was is, moving. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Album came out in less than a year. Hell you know yeah, it came out right away. Right away. Got you the G unit I mean? tattoo. Oh, and yeah. I remember them talking about that 50 got the G got the Mob, Mob Deep, Deep tattoo. Got it on his wrist. Yeah, he had Mob Deep. He went and actually got the tattoo first. He went 
on his own and just 50. came back. Yeah, he came back with the mob deep on his wrist. And that's when P and H was like, oh, nah, we got to get them tattoos, man. Ooh. Because, you know what I mean? He done did it now. So it's like, damn, we got to do it too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. That's what's right. up, yo. That's a ill ass story. Yeah. So what's some what's one of your favorite tracks off off, off a new project right now? Um, shit. It's it's really hard to pick. Well, it's really hard to pick. Top. Three. I would I would say I would say graphic. I would say everything I love. Boss to the bosses. Um, I can't believe it. Those are. Uh, those are my, my 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 joints right there like you know what i'm saying and also um say yes it's pretty dope mm. for the ladies you know what i'm saying nice so you've always yeah. been diverse with your stuff man I've, I've always seen you heard your music and mm -hmm. you've always been diverse you don't mm -hmm. scare mm -hmm. you don't you don't mind trying new things man how do right. you know right. how do you uh, like what's what's the mindset for something like that yeah i mean when you're doing a project i always before I start a project, I would think of, okay, I'm not, I put myself in the listener's shoes. Mm. So I'm not gonna just sit there and do one type of record, the whole album, you know what I'm saying? It's, everybody have different tastes when it comes to music. Some people like straight hard shit. Mm. Some people like smooth shit. Some people like shit for the ladies. Some people like club shit. You know what I'm saying? So I give them a mixture of all of those. Some people like storytelling. Mm -hmm. So I give them pretty much a sample of everything nice. in one. You know nice. what I'm saying? Good. All right, man. So, you know, how do people contact you? How do people reach you? How do they download the music? Let them um, know everything, man. Um, yeah, man. You know, it's available on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nice to Future Havoc. Future the streets the EP man it's crazy you know what I mean eight records on there you're gonna love all eight of them because they're all different from each other not one record is pretty much similar to the next right. um real aggressive style you know versatility nice. show uh you know very metaphorical lyrical because that's how I am I don't like to be just regular. All you right. know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, man, you can reach me at on the gram, nice to future NYC underscore D A underscore future. Y'all can check it out. Come holler at me. I mm -hmm. reply to everybody. I'm not one of them stuck up artists that'll just sit there and be like, all right, he responded, so fuck him. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. You know what That's I'm saying? I'm gonna respond to you. I'm gonna chop it up. It's it's weird because a lot of people be shocked when they talking to me. They be like, oh. Yo, I, I never thought you would have responded. Answer. Yeah, like, people be shocked when I respond back to them. And they, I'm like, yo, listen, you know, it's because of y'all we're here. Uh -huh. So I always show the people love, man. I do it for the people. That's you know what I'm saying? And, yo, quick question, man. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about the New York movement right now? Um, New York is really divided. You know what I'm saying? New York have a lot of talent in it it's a lot of talent in new york but it's like people don't understand with this music it's like um when you unify things go better mm. you know what i'm saying the way every other at, state did. yeah if you look at at dj khaled the reason why dj khaled is so successful and he's not even a rapper you know what I'm saying? But the reason why his projects is so successful is because he believes in unity. He's going to put five people on a record, five mm. different artists, big artists that's on a record. He will put all five of them on one record, and they'll all come together, shoot the video together, and this is the, this is the success that you're seeing. The South is winning because of that. You know what I'm saying? It's dudes that just came out in the south and they'll get a song with future or they'll get yes. a song with Lil baby or the migos because they are not afraid to do a record with, with. an up-and-coming artist Ace. in new york it's the complete opposite <laughs> everybody everybody has their own team and they'll be like all right he's cool but my man is better and it's that standoffish situation is what's fucking new york up mm -hmm. right now yeah because 
everybody kind of like puts themselves in a bubble instead of being like, all right, let's go fuck with them. You know yes. what I'm saying? Let's go fuck with them. If you look at it right now, Bobby Smurda and these guys just came home and they really kind of like fucking with niggas in the South, out of town. Mm -hmm. They really like out of town a lot because it's the unification they see and they go exactly. and they can go do this record and it's no pressure of, well, what he done lately or, or who's he with or, yo, know, they need a resume in New York for you to get on a record with wow, somebody. Wow, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's why New York is the way it is right now. Yes. But New York always got the talent. Yeah, always got, got the yeah, talent. Always we got always, talent. We always the dudes that everybody look at. Mm. All, all down south, That's all these true. rappers down south, west coast, everywhere they look at New York because they always say New York is the hardest place to make it. If you make it here, you can make it anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, that's that's what's going on with New York, man. So these New York rappers, man, put your egos aside and let's work, baby. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what's up. And let's take this shit back the way it's supposed to be. You nice. know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Well, check it out, man. It's the kid, nice the future, the most infamous, man. Future the streets, man. I'm with Freak Genius TV, man. Y'all better get it, get some knowledge, nigga. Get some fucking knowledge, man. Freak Genius TV. You know what it is, man. The mob, we out. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta tell these niggas like it is, man.